Hi there, it's Ian here. So I wanted to show you how to assign data from a polygon file to a point file. Now the the one option is is you can you can select features that intersect with a particular polygon and then you can update that attribute table for that uh, point file and give it the name of the underlying feature. But there's a, a better version where you can uh, use a, a, an algorithm to assign data by location or join attribute, attribute information based on location, which we will do. Okay, so now I prefer this option to, so let's say we just wanted the, the households for, for this um, commune underneath. So this commune here, I'm just going to select that one. Okay, I'll turn this one off. So if we just wanted the, the points that were intersecting with this commune, I prefer not to clip out the points. I prefer to assign data to it because they, that way we don't repeat uh, and create duplicates of the same data. data. So we don't have two shapefiles for the same data. Okay, we'll rather have an attribute or a new field in the attribute table with the name for the commune that intersects. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do that now. So this is the, the households layer that we, we're looking to assign data to. So if I just open the attribute table for it, I want to show you that your ID field currently is blank. So it's not, this needs to be unique. So this can be um, updated with unique numbers. And it's not important uh, if you're going to capture later and have blank record. You can update it at any time to be unique. And I'll show you how to do that now. So I'm going to start by selecting an editing session or toggle an editing session and then I'm just going to open up my field calculator I want to update an existing field and it's the ID field I want to update and the command to create unique numbers is at row number you see it's prompting for the actual command and then if you say OK now that'll run through and assign a unique value to each of the records for the uh, the ID field OK now that is exactly what we expect and that's what we want. Now the reason I want to do that is because I want to at a later stage come in and join data based on this number. Okay, so we'll do that next. Um, well after this next section. So the next thing I want to do is I want to create a field for this new value, this new uh, value which is going to be commune. Okay, it's going to be commune and it is a string and we'll give it a length of 25. I'm not sure if that's going to be big enough but for this example I think it should be okay. So we can say OK. So this new field is going to have the value of the commune that it intersects. OK, so I'm happy with that. We can say save and close. So we're waiting to save. There's quite a few records here, so it's taking a while. So there's 28,000. So depending on how many records you take, you have, it might take a while. So let's close that down. All right, so now we want to assign the data from this shapefile onto this shape file. So we're using this tool called Data Management Tools, Join Attributes by Location. And the input layer should be the point file that we want to assign to. And we're going to assign from the only other layer in the project, which is this admin layer. And where it intersects, we're going to create uh, and assign one to many. So we're going to assign uh, the value of one shape file or um, feature or polygon to many points. Okay, so that's one too many. And we can just create a temporary file for this example. We'll just say run. It shouldn't take too long. Okay, so what the project does is it adds a, a temporary file called, it's also a point file. If we open it up, you'll see that it'll have a whole lot of uh, more fields. And these are the fields that have been pulled through from the intersecting layer, which was the overlapping layer that we used. We're adjoining or assigning data from this layer and that was the polygon layer. Okay, so let's just go back to that uh, attribute table. It's not that one. Just make sure I choose the right one. It's not that one either. It is, can only be this one. Okay, so these are fields for a temporary layer and they came from the, uh, yeah, the polygon underneath. All right, so now what we have here, we've got commune two and this is the layer, this is the field that we created. So now I just want to make sure that this is joined to this. Okay, so so I'm going to do that by going to the original um, layer. I don't want to create a, a permanent layer from this one. I'm going to go to the Households layer. I'm going to go to Properties and Joins. I'm going to create a join. Now this is where 
we use the ID, the unique ID that I created. Okay, so now both of these will have the same unique IDs for the same features. We say OK. There's the join that's made. We can turn this one off. Don't delete it. If you delete it, the join will be lost. I'm just turning it off. And then if we open the attribute table, we can now use that value, which is commune. It was commune2. Let's see, it's this one here. Okay, we're going to basically use that value and populate this field with that value. So we can start editing. And these are all temporary joins, remember? So we're going to remove these. So it's not an issue. So we're going to use the field calculator. We're going to update an existing field and it's the commune value or the commune field and you use commune2. Okay, so now we're saying update existing field, that field with the values from this field. We say okay. Okay, so now we can save those edits. We'll stop editing and, and select save. And we can close this down. And now you can remove the joins. Now the joins can be removed by just deleting the join layer. Okay, or you can actually go into the attribute table or the, or the properties of the layer and just go back to joins and then select the join and just click on the little minus sign to remove the join. Just to double check those joins have gone go back into the attribute table and you see all those fields have now disappeared but the values from the field that we joined from are now here okay so that's how I would do it I wouldn't clip out I would assign data by location now if we only want to see the households for Bukemba we can do a little filter so we select it source we're gonna say query builder uh, why is this one doing that it's not a problem we can clear that you can say commune equal to Bukemba, OK, apply, OK. Now, where the values for each of the households is Bukemba, they will show up. Everything else is switched off. So that's how you can assign data by location. So instead of clipping, we do a join, assign data by location, and a join, and then we update a, a new field. And then all we've done is, is use the query builder to select out the values that we want.